Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is half past four, so it's a bit later than normal, but I'm going to go through today's workout, um, looking at glutes and abdominals. Um, this is more of a timed workout today, so if you've got a stopwatch nearby, it will be handy, or you can use your phone, there's lots of apps we can set up. Um, we've got hip thrusts. Um, with an isometric hold, so it's 30 seconds on where we're working and then a 30 second hold, so we're working those glutes and squeezing super tight. Then we go into V-ups today and I'll go through a few variations for you to use um, for your V-ups, that way you can scale it as you need to. Um, but that's the same, max reps for 30 seconds and then it's a V-sit hold for 30 seconds. We're going to do four rounds of that today. Um, and then we've got just a quick finisher of two sets of um, single leg Romanian deadlift. So if you've got anything that you can use as a weight, paint tins, buckets, you can hold a rock, you can grab an, a bin depending on how heavy it is. There's lots of things you can use, a small child, um, a dog, a cat if it's heavy enough. Um, we'll go through those so you guys um, can have a look and then we're going to do some um, a straight legged roll up uh, making sure that we're focusing on that movement so let's get into it our warm up today is pretty specific uh, pretty um, mobility specific and just getting joints moving and stuff like that we're going into a bit of a different stretch for today um, I'll get you guys to have a look at it in a second. Um, but we're going to start, nice basic one is just a straight forward, touching your toes. So bending forward as far as you can, try and keep those knees as straight as possible, stretching out through hamstrings, possibly your lower back, reaching forward and just gently moving and turning side to side. And we're going to hold that for about 30 seconds, constantly moving, really trying to get a bit of extra length into this movement. All right. So the next one we're going to do is a front split stretch. So we're going to have one foot forward and our other leg straight out the back. I might turn on the side. Uh, if you've got a bench or something, it can be useful just to um, help with this stretch so we're going here we want to stay up nice and straight try and keep that back leg just move forward a bit try and keep that back knee as straight as possible as you come down front leg straight just go as low as you can to feel that stretch keep yourself looking straight ahead and just really get deep into that stretch you play around with this one. Some people can get a lot deeper than others. I can't get very deep. But it is a good one just to help loosen off all those muscles through your legs. Again, we'll hold that for 30 seconds. Gently coming out of that. We'll do the other side as well. So, back leg. Nice and straight. Staying on that back toe. Try and keep that front toe up. And that front leg straight. Just hanging out there when you feel that stretch. Again, gently coming out of that one. Next one we've got is our Cossack stretch. Um, we're going to use the bench for this one today just because it helps me get a bit deeper into that stretch. But we're going to stick one leg out to the side and I'm just going to drop. You can't see anything. Actually, I'm going the bench. But we're going to drop. I'll use a, a little stool. We're going to drop it down into that stretch. Maybe I'll use the bench. Feel that stretch. I get a really good adductor stretch. Then I want to move it to the other side. Gently coming down. Just holding each one. Try and stay moving. We want to loosen off as 
much as we can. Some people can drop straight into this. I cannot. Um, we're going to go into our standing calf stretch. So I'm just going to move the camera so you guys can see. Now you can use a post or a wall for this one. I'm going to use the post just here. So first thing I'm going to do, foot as high up as possible and then I'm going to keep my leg straight and pull myself up. So I get a really deep stretch into that calf. Just try and loosen off those calf muscles. Again, hold it for about 30 seconds and then switch over, gently coming out, change legs. Again, put that heel in, coming up, stretch out those calf muscles. If you want to see if your calf is, uh, if you're getting a good stretch in that calf muscle, start. By doing this basic test, just pushing that knee as far forward as you can, keeping the toe on the ground, heel stays flat, push the knee as far forward as you can without your heel coming off the floor, coming back, same again, so that's about as far as I get. So you probably test it before you do it, and then you want to test after you do your stretch. So my heel starting to come off the floor there. So, as you can see, if you've got pretty good calf mobility, it makes a, a big difference for a lot of the stuff you do. Anyone who runs a lot, does a lot of running, cardio, I highly recommend you do a lot of calf stretching. Um, your ankles can get really jammed up. Or if you do any running in general, um, through sports and stuff like that, Loosen off those calves. Um, and in the front here, through this muscle in the front, is a really big one. It can really limit that, um, that forward range movement and put a lot of pressure on your knee. All right, hip thrusts. We're gonna go on our bench, feet on another stool. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. I'm not gonna do the full 30 seconds, but I wanna keep my chin tucked, squeeze my glutes, as hard as I can for 30 seconds, uh, for keep doing as many reps as I can for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to hold and squeeze as tight as I can. All right, pushing through my heels, squeezing my butt, really holding it tight, making sure that I'm locked out, not down here, that I'm fully locked out through the hips. So. I go for 30 seconds, then I want to lock out, do that isometric hold for 30 seconds, um, just to get a really good burn, um, get that pump into the glutes, make it grow. Um, you can do all this stuff, you can add weight if you need, if you've got some, you can put a kettlebell on your waist or some dumbbells. Again, small child or your partner, they can sit on your hips. It's up to you what you want to do. All right, our next one. V-ups. I need a bit of space for this. So with our V-ups, we want to make sure we'll go through most advanced and then work our way backwards and you guys can work it from there. So make sure I don't hit anything, make sure you're clear. Alright, so the ups out nice and straight, cover your guts from here, up, meeting in the middle. And then after your 30 seconds, you're going to sit and you're going to hold. Coming up into that nice V sit position, toes pointed, arms out, chest up, we don't want to be hunched, we want to be up and legs tight. So. That's our, our optimal position. If you find it too hard to do with straight legs, drop it down. So here, bend the knees and just coming up. Now 
And if that's too hard, just like keep the knees up and doing your sit up. That way. Again, with the V sit hold, if that's too hard, bend the knees a bit. But we want to make sure our abdominals are working through it. It shouldn't be so easy that you're not getting any sort of um, any benefit from it. You want to make sure that you're challenging yourself. If it's too easy, it's not worth it. Alright, then we go into two rounds of single leg Romanian deadlift. You can use dumbbells, kettlebells, paint buckets, weight, no weight. You could use a band. There's lots of ways we can do this. I'll show you how to use a band if you've got one, and I will also use a dumbbell. So, our band, it's just a skinny one, but I will show, and a, just a basic dumbbell. So, single leg, going, actually I'll do front. This one, slight bend in the knee, other leg's back. Now I'm focused on Keeping my back nice and straight, it doesn't change. Dumbbell goes on the other side. From here, I'm pushing my hip back as far as I can. I want to feel my hamstring work. And I'm squeezing my butt to come back in. It's not about going lower, because then my back starts to let go. Once my back lets go, it's now a back exercise, and it's no longer a hamstring and glute, which is what we're aiming for. All right, I'll demo with a band how you can set up. So you might, I'll use the other leg, but you might double it over, depending on what you're up to or how strong you feel. Leg goes back, pushing those hips back, and then we're pulling through. If it's too easy, you can just grab a bit lower and pull you down and then squeeze and coming all the way back up. So that's our single leg Romanian deadlift. And then we've got our roll ups. So, a roll up. We want our legs out straight. Legs out nice and straight. We're going to be lying nice and straight. Then from here, we're going to roll up. All right. So our legs need to stay on the floor. And then on the way back down, we're staying in control of that movement all the way through. And sitting up nice and straight. Back down. In control of that movement. Now if you think it's too easy, slow it down, add weight. Um, there's lots of ways you can make that a lot of a, a much harder exercise. But a big a big part of it is like staying really in control of that um, movement. And for a lot of your movements as well. It's not always about adding weight, sometimes it's about slowing yourself down and being really in control. Anyway, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, any questions, anything about fitness you want to know, please hit me up. I'm happy to answer questions. And thanks everyone who's been leaving comments and liking the, the videos. Um, makes me keep wanting to do it. So I will keep doing them um, for as long as I can. Um, good afternoon, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.